Hi, this is Crystal. Planning a database means that you need to see what you are going to keep track of so that you can describe it in a structured way. When you are planning, instead of focusing on what you want out, focus on what you have to put in. A good design is everything when it comes to access. It takes time to plan a good database, and structuring data is the most important thing to do well. So where do you start? Prepare. Clear a place to work. Make a refreshing drink. Get paper and pencils and notes. Play inspiring music. Gather examples of what needs to be organized. And think about what you have to build with. Clear your mind and visualize. See the different nouns that you will keep track of. Why can't you see how hard it must be? It just ain't easy being me. Nouns are tables. First I do and then I don't. I don't know. What will you keep track of for each of your tables? List items under each table. Visualize what you write. What is it? What are examples of its values? See it in your head. If it is a noun or event, then it is a table. If it is a property that describes something, like an adjective describes a noun, then it is a field. The important thing now is to list everything you can think of, down to the smallest detail. If items are in the wrong place, we'll refine it later. One of the properties that describes a person is a name. A name has many parts. Break them down. Store information distinctly. When you look at a name, see each part. Another property of a person is gender, male, or female. Birthday does not describe a person. It is a property of an event. Since a person just has one birthday in their lifetime, it will help us identify who a person is. There are several ways we can categorize people. This also helps us find them easier, like the yellow pages of a telephone book. Friend, colleague, family, mailman, paperboy, grocer, handyman, artist, musician, teacher. We could have several notes, and some of these may result in things that need to be done. Make a table with each category in a separate row as a separate record. This way, categories can be added as needed, and we don't have to think of everything now. Before people can be categorized, the category must first exist. Since we read from left to right, move the category table to the left of the people table. Visualize doesn't matter what role someone plays. When it comes to data, we are all the same. We have a table for people. What about companies? Do we need a different table to keep track of companies? Good question. What is a company? A company is a collection of people. What do companies have in common with humans? Name, address, phone number, email, Website? So people and groups of people have a lot in common. Can the same structure be used to keep track of human and company information? Visualize different types of people by themselves or as a collection. The data is the same.
The next step is to turn items into field names. A field is a column of information in a table. A row is a record of information in a table. Make sure the names you choose to call fields are not reserved for another use in Access. Look up problem names and reserved words on Alan Brown's site. Go to alanbrown.com, click on Microsoft Access Tips, look in the Application Utilities section at Utilities, then click on Problem Names and Reserved Words. You can also Google Alan Brown and even spell his name wrong. 35 million hits, but what you want is right here, Access Tips. When Alan's page comes up, press Ctrl F to launch the Find box in the lower left corner of the screen. Type Reserved and press Enter. And you will find this to be such a useful page that you may want to add it to your bookmarks toolbar. Let's see if the word name is OK to use as a field name. It starts with N, so click N in the alphabet list. Name is reserved for forms, reports, and other objects, so we should not use it. New is a future SQL server keyword. Next is a JET reserved word. JET is a term that means the engine that Access uses. Next represents an action, so it is a method. No is reserved for JET. If you scroll to the bottom of the list, you will wind up at X, Y, and Z. There are over 2,500 words on this list. Don't worry, you'll get to know the words that you might be tempted to use. And as you learn more about Access, you will recognize many words without having to look them up. Only use letters, numbers, and underscores. Don't use spaces, special characters, or extra words. Start names with a letter, not a number. If you start a field name with a number, you will have problems, and you will probably pull your hair out trying to find out what's wrong. Don't use spaces. Don't start with a number. A photo is a separate thing than a person. Store information about photos in a related table. Keep names concise yet descriptive. If you have a database that includes products, prod is easily recognized as an abbreviation for product. ID should be qualified with what kind of an ID it is. By itself, ID is an ambiguous name. Think about the length of your data. If it is not many characters, then use a short field name. Field names do not wrap in a data sheet view or in a relationship diagram. State abbreviation is too long. The data will only be two characters. State would be OK, except it is a reserved word, so just use ST. Another reason to keep names short is less to type when you're programming. Yes, you are going to learn or get better with Visual Basic for applications. It's easy. Stick with me and I'll show you how. Name your fields generically so the names are flexible. Don't use someone's name as a field name. If you are keeping track of who an account belongs to, store employees in a separate table and link on employee ID. What happens if you hire more people? You would have to add more fields. And it would also be a lot harder to report your data. What did we learn about planning a database? Prepare. Visualize. Organize. Design for flexibility. Use guidelines when you're thinking of names. And did I mention visualize? Focus on the data, not who it belongs to. What's next? More planning. We will take the design stage further to create field names, learn what key fields are, and discuss relationships. I don't want to be vague. I don't want to be